Welcome to AETC, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, we are going to discuss about a life-saving drug which is called Vasopressin. So, Vasopressin is also called ADH, anti-diuretic hormone. It is usually pro it is produced in the hypothalamus. It's uh, like a neurohypophyseal peptide hormone in the hypo uh, produced in the hypothalamus, and it's stored later on in the pituitary gland. So, the main function of the ADH or antidiuretic hormone is that it increases the water absorption in the nephron and increases the peripheral vascular resistance, which help to improve the B. So, coming to the action of the vasopressin. So, uh, the vasopressin act on two receptors, the V1 and V2 receptors. The V2 receptor is seen in the kidney, whereas the V1 receptor is seen in the vascular smooth muscle. So, uh, vasopressin uh, act on the V1 receptors, which causes direct peripheral vasoconstriction, and then it also increases the systemic vascular resistance and blood, thereby blood pressure. And also it helps in improving the cerebral and cardiac perfusion. It does it have an ionotropic or chronotropic activity? So there is a, there will be a decrease in heart rate and cardiac output. And uh, vasopressin when act, acting on the V2 receptor it, uh, in the kidneys, which will cause anti-diuretic effect. And that's why it's called ADH, anti-diuretic hormone. So the use of uh, vasopressin. Vasopressin is used for patient in shock which is um, and it is used along with uh, noradrenaline initially it will be starting with noradrenaline and we will uh, start start the second the uh, drug gas vasopressin so it can it is uh, used like uh, up to 0 0.3 0 0.3 unit per minute uh, which is added to noradrenaline either uh, can be used to either raise the mean arterial pressure or also can be used used to decrease the noradrenaline dose in septic shock and uh, its analogs are also used in management of GA bleed then HRS and SAADs. So uh, the, uh, the management HRS is if double person is uh, absent uh, we will uh, use vasopressin. The next coming to the adverse effects, uh, main adverse effects of uh, vasopressin is diaphoresis, nausea, vomiting, headache, Articaria, arrhythmia, arrhythmias, then myocardial infection, bronchoconstriction can also cause mesenteric and peripheral ischemia also. So, the pharmacokinetics of uh, vasopressin. It's metabolized in uh, re renal as well as uh, liver and uh, excreted through uh, kidneys and in half life if about 10 to 20 minutes and uh, rapid potent dashing. Uh, uh, will be uh, less than 20 minutes uh, uh, rapid action and duration will be less than 20 minutes. So, uh, in, in uh, the vasopressin, each ampule contains 1 ml, and 1 ml means it contains 20 units of vasopressin. So, the 1 ml, you, uh, the dilution of vasopressin is like we will dilute the 1 ml in 19 ml of NS and uh, it will be a total 20 ml. And uh, so there in which uh, each one number will contain one unit of vasopressin. And uh, we uh, use this as uh, like 0 0.03 unit per minute infusion or else 1.8 unit per hour or 1.8 ml per hour infusion. And the storage is, it is stored uh, at a, uh, the temperature of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius and so stored in, uh, with, outside the freezer. So, we can uh, once again discuss vasopressin is a uh, uh, drug which is used in shock, which is uh, used in association with noradrenaline, and uh, it is like it 1 ml ampule which is mixed with 19 ml of NS and uh, given as 0 0.03 U, U per minute infusion or, uh, or 1.8 ml per hour infusion. and uh, uh, it's uh, highly helpful in uh, patients with refractory shocks to reduce the uh, either noradrenaline infusion or else uh, can also be uh, added as a second dose, second drug. Okay, that's about no, uh, vasopressin. Thank you.